Hi everyone, welcome to our channel once again. I'm Kanishka from Dwemski and I hope you all are doing great. In the previous video, we learned how to open a custom page on click of a command button and pass the parameters in model driven app. If you want to check out that video, click on the link given in the description box below. Today we will explore one such similar scenario. Earlier, the button was on the main grid command bar and on click of that button, a custom page was shown and the data was passed and updated. But what if the button and the records that we want to select are on a subgrid? So let's see what the full requirement we are having today for this scenario. Now here, as you can see, I am under my cases table. And if I select one of these records, under the leads tab, I am having a subgrid of leads table. This basically depicts one to one relationship from case table to leads table. And if I select more than a single record here on the subgrid, a custom button named as confirm lead gets visible on the subgrid command bar. And on click of this button, a custom page gets opened up which includes the details of the lead records selected from the subgrid. And on click of this button on the custom page, these records displayed here gets confirmed. And the criteria of the leads getting confirmed is same as the previous video. There is a toggle button field named as confirm lead which gets turned on to yes. So let us see how to fulfill this requirement. We will start with creation of a custom page. Although this part is almost similar as explained in the previous video. So let me just briefly explain it to you. I'll open my custom page in a new tab. So this is the custom page that I have created it's very basic as per the requirement. So here we have three things, a label, a gallery and a button. So on the start of the application, what the power effects I am having, let me show you. So firstly, we are creating a variable named as selected lead IDs from the grid and we are passing the value as the parameter. And this record ID is passed from JavaScript which includes the ID of each records which are selected. I have again created a variable named as lead record IDs array and we are splitting each ID with a comma and storing it in this variable. And then I'm creating a variable named as selected records, which basically include all the leads whose ID in this array. After that, for the gallery, the layout I have chosen as title, subtitle and body. And I have chosen the data as the lead, as the data source, and then the fields as name, company name, and city. And on the items property of this gallery, to show all the leads whose ID is in this variable named as lead record IDs array. And on select property of the confirm lead button, for each records which are in the selected records variable we are going to update the confirm lead field to true for this i have used the patch function for the selected record that is this record and then we are sending a notification now let me show you the js that i have written for this so I have a function named as open confirm case associated leads custom page. Then I have passed a debugger. I have firstly created a variable named as grid context, which will get the control of the subgrid. And we have used the name of the subgrid for the same. Then I have created a, another variable named as selected rows, which will get all the selected rows in the subgrid. And after that, we have initialized a variable named as record IDs array, which will store all the IDs of the selected records. 
and then I am using for each loop basically to get the record IDs for each of the row. So for each row, we are creating a variable named as row data and we are getting the data of the current row and then the current entity from the row. And then I am using push function, which will basically add the record ID to the array named as record IDs array. Also removes the curly braces and converts the GUID from uppercase to lowercase. And if there are any records selected, that is if the length of the array is greater than one, then I am initializing a variable named as record IDs string, which will basically join the record IDs into a comma separated string. And then we are defining the parameters, the input parameters for the custom page, because we are going to use the same method xrm.navigation.navigate2, which will require page input and the navigation options. We are again using the page type as custom name of the custom page. And then this part is important, the record ID, which we are going to pass to the custom page, which will include, which will include the record IDs string, the comma separated record ID string. And then I am using the navigation options as mentioned here. And then if this function gives any error, then we are showing the error message on the console. So this is how my JS works. I have already created a web resource for the same. Now, once you are done with the everything, now this is the time to create the button on the subgrid. Now, how you're going to create that? Let me show it to you. You will again open the sales application, sales hub application that is. Now, because the entity that we are working on is of case, but the subgrid is of lead entity. So we will go to the lead entity and open its command bar. Now, because the button is on the subgrid of the lead entity, so we will be working with the subgrid view. Here I have my confirm lead button. Here I have given the name as confirm lead. I have used an icon. And because on the click of the button, we are going to call JS. So here the action is run JavaScript. And then I have used the library that is the web resource. And here we have mentioned the function name of the JS that we have written. And then in the parameter, I have added selected control all item IDs. This parameter will help to get the records which are selected on the subgrid. And I want to show this button only if the record selected are greater than one or in other words, the number of records selected are greater than one. So for this, I have used the visibility option that is show on condition from formula and the formula is same as mentioned in the previous video. Here we have used the count rows function. If the selected items count is greater than one, show the button, otherwise hide it. Then you need to save and publish your command bar and your application as well. So this is all the development part that you need to do for this requirement. Now let us get back to the case entity and let's see how all the things are working. Here I am under my case table. And if I open any records that I have just recently created, and please note here that this leads tab I have added by myself and I have added the subgrid also. So here we are having three records on this subgrid. Now I have selected one record. The button is not visible. If I select more than one record, the button gets visible. I'll click on this button. The custom page gets opened up and we are having the records that I have selected on my gallery. I will click on this button and the confirm lead field gets turned on to yes for these all three fields. So we are having the success message. Let me open one of these records and see if we are done with it or not. See, so this is how you can work with the subgrid for the similar requirement. And I hope this video will be helpful for you all. If you like this video, don't forget to follow us. Thank you and have a great day.